Hello, I'm Jack Nichols, and welcome to highlights from the Road to Vegas Challenge, organized by Cloud Sport. Round two took place on the streets of Paris, where sim racing legend Greco Hutu started on pole position for Team Redline, alongside his teammate and fellow Finn, Oli Pakala. The pair led the pack into Turn 1, while Enzo Benito jumped Bono Huis and Patrick Holtzman to take an early third place. It was a Team Redline 1-2-3 up at the front, with lots of cars going two or three wide behind them. Things got tight at the hairpin as Michele D'Alessandro spun Samuel Libert, putting an early end to the Frenchman's home race and losing his front wing in the process. Stuck in 14th, Long Beach winner Graham Carroll couldn't find a way past Alexia Lomar, while it was frustration for the leaders who were being held up by a backmarker. The pit lane was busy around lap 22, with all the front runners coming in. Opting for a longer first stint, Miguel Balesta suddenly found himself in the lead and under pressure from Hutu, Pakala and Bonito, the trio losing a lot of time behind the Spaniard. On lap 28, Balesta clipped the barrier near the pit entry, losing his front wing but choosing to stay out while the team Redline drivers streamed through, followed closely by Patrick Holtzman, who managed to make up a full pit stop on the cars ahead. One lap later, sixth place Bono Huis was all over Balesta's rear wing and made an impressive move around the outside of Turn 1. Alexi Usi quickly joined the fray, clipping Ballester's side pod and then moving to block Wyatt Gooden behind him. They went three wide across the line on the following lap, Usi and Gooden getting a little too close for comfort and ultimately collecting Ballester as they piled into Turn 1. Usi managed to claim sixth, and a few corners later, Gooden got tired of being held up and made a late-breaking manoeuvre into the hairpin to pass Ballester for seventh. Next to catch Ballester was David Greco, who was held off by the Spaniard through Turn 1. In the train of cars behind, Graham Carroll took advantage of the concertina effect to finally pass Iloma for 12th. On lap 33, Ballester finally pitted, to the relief of the chasing pack. There was a scary moment on lap 40 for Oli Pakala in second, who did well not to crash after clipping the wall, and brought his car home behind Gregor Hutu, the race winner in Paris. Enzo Benito made it a 1-2-3 finish for Team Redline, with Hutu and Pakala moving into joint first place in the championship.